Good afternoon. My name's Richard. What's your name? My name is Alba. Okay, Alba. So let me see your ID. Thank, Thank you very much. So you are Alba Barroso Cosa and you're doing ISC1. Mm -hmm. Thank you very much. Okay, now we're going to start with your topic. Can I have your topic form, please? My topic is of Toledo. Toledo. Okay. Tell me something about the history. Okay. Uh, Toledo, uh, uh, the Roma, Roma uh, was found Toledo in um, two uh, before Greece. Do you know Toledo? This is my second visit. It's a <laughs> beautiful like? city. It's fantastic. <laughs> okay. Uh, I, in my work, uh, I work with I work with the rest of the Roman in Toledo. Mm -hmm. In the Roman bar, I work in the Roman bar. And how long have you had that job? Uh, two years. Two years. Um, tell me something about gastronomy. Uh, Toledo has a me. Gastronomy. Mm -hmm. I like my favorite place of Toledo is a um, mazapan. It's a sweet. Do you like? I don't really like sweets, like sweet food so much. I prefer meat. Hmm. Ah, in Toledo, I have a carcamusas. It's a typical food. It's meat with the potato in mm. it. And tomato is. A uh, fantastic food. Sounds delicious. Um, how often do you go out to a restaurant in Toledo? Mm, in the Friday and Sunday, I go to the restaurant. Um, I don't have. I haven't mm, much money. Mm, that's, that's <laughs> Toledo is very cheap. It does seem no, a bit no, it's cheap. No. no. Tell me something about festivities in Toledo. In Toledo um, do you go in Toledo? Um, in Toledo has uh, many different festivi festivities. Um, for example, um, Corpus Christi, uh, Christmas, um, um, but Mm, the most important festivity in Toledo is the Corpus Christi. And what happens at the Corpus Christi festival? It's, it's in summer. And it's, um, it's a party with the church. The people go to the cathedral and see, and the people, people see a, a People see the custodia is a most important monument. Mm. Tell me something about monuments. But in Toledo, uh, you can see the Alcázar is a castle, a big castle, the cathedral. The, uh, my favorite monument is um, a mosque, the mosque of Cristo de la Luz. It's a a little mosque mm. and it's very pretty. Do you think you will spend your whole life working in Toledo or do you think you might go to work in another city? In, I, I don't know. My, the person I work in Toledo, but in the future I don't know. I don't. The moment, in, uh, at the moment, uh, I like working in Toledo. Thank you. Thank you for talking about your topic. Now we're going to talk about something different. Okay. Let's talk about learning a foreign language. Um, I, I am thinking of coming to live in Spain. Mm -hmm. If I want to speak, if I want to speak Spanish really well, what do you think I need to do? Um, you need. Uh, is speak with the other the people in Spanish mm. uh, you can but if I if I arrive in Spain and I don't know anybody how, oh, okay. how do you think I can yeah. meet new people hmm. you can you can see you can watch in TV in Spanish mm. 
o listen music in Spanish, or you can go to the class in Spanish yeah, with a teacher. That's Spanish. a good idea, like at this school, for example. Yeah. What's your opinion? Somebody said I could do an online course. What's your opinion of studying a language online? Online? Mm. In England, online. Online, yeah. On the internet. <laughs> I understand. Uh, I think I think that it's a good idea. Uh, I, for example, I uh, I can I watching uh, I am watching series mm. in English yes. for online. Yes, exactly. My children like watching series online. Um, in the future, as you work in the tourist industry, mm. if you decide to start learning another language, which language might you choose? Um, in my future, um, the German. Mm, why? I think why? In this moment, mm, I think the German is a big, a big potent, uh, a big uh, potent, <laughs> I don't know. It's a big country. Absolutely. Big economy. A big well. economy. Okay, thank you. Now we're going to move on to the listening task, okay? Okay, now, you are going to hear a short talk about an animal called a giraffe. You will hear the talk twice. As you listen, write down some notes about what you hear if you want to. After, I will ask you six questions on some facts about giraffes. So I'll hand you a sheet of note paper. There we go. Mm -hmm. Okay, are you ready? Yes. Trees, but drinking is difficult. 
Where, where, where do giraffes get water from? For the, um, for the blood. How fast can giraffes run? Five kilometers. After how long can a baby giraffe stand up? Uh, 30 minutes. What happens to baby giraffes after 10 hours? Run, run with your mother. How long do giraffes live for? Uh, 25. How do you know the age of a giraffe? Uh, <laughs> 25. <laughs> now, you're going to hear a short talk about science. You will hear the talk twice. The first time, just listen. Then I will ask you to tell me in a few words what the speaker is talking about. So the first time you cannot write. Mm -hmm. Okay? Integrated put skills language. Down, just Level B1. Task 2. Babies begin to speak. So, tell me in a few words what the speaker is talking about. A few words. What is the speaker talking about? About the baby. Thank you. Okay, now you can take your pen. Now listen to the talk again. Write down some notes about what you hear, if you want to. Then I will ask you to tell me six pieces of information about how children learn to speak. Are you ready? Yes. Okay. Integrated skills in English, level B1, task two. Please tell me six pieces of information about how children learn to speak. Um, they speak uh, with one word. Thank you. Um, at, in, in, with one word, uh, baby uh, learn 
11 by word of objects, animals, all of them. Thank you. Um, uh, the baby with um, the children with six years, uh, uh, he can, uh, he can um, speak about uh, six thousand words. Thank you. Uh, many people say that the children um, we um, speak about of thing of recognition. Mm -hmm. <laughs> um, I don't know that. Have you got any more? No. Okay. Don't worry. Now, um, what happens when a child is about 18 months old? What happens when a child is about 18 months old? I don't understand. I don't know. Okay. Um, do children have to hear a word often in order to learn it? Do children have to hear a word often in order to learn it? Yes. Thank you. Um, how many words can a child understand at the age of six? Six thousand words. Thank you. And how many words can an 18-month-old child learn a day? Okay, um, thank you very much, Albert. That's the end of the test, and it's been very nice speaking to you. Thank you very much. Thank you. And bye-bye. Nice bye-bye.